What's up everybody, it's Genoheed here. How is everyone doing today? So for today's video, we are going to be going back to Call of Duty 4 and tackling the question of what happens if you kill Yuri and Makarov. So I know, be, I know what you may be thinking, those characters don't really appear until the later Call of Duty games. Well, as we saw in Modern Warfare 3, during a flashback scene, Yuri, who is a character from MW3, actually knows Makarov and they, uh, they were actually there during the events of uh, what's the mission called? All Gillied Up in COD 4. Uh, that's the mission where you're supposed to snipe Zakaev. And as you can see, Yuri is sitting here in the back of this truck, and Makarov is the driver. And together, you guys get Zakaev out of here and out of danger. Now, with that in mind, what if we went back to COD 4, or in this case, Modern Warfare Remastered, and we killed. Yuri and Makarov. Well, let's take a look. So just a re refresher, the mission all gillied up. That's this mission right here, where you and Captain McMillan are supposed to go assassinate Zakaev. And you need to, it's, it's overall a very stealth mission. At least it's supposed to be a stealth mission. You don't have to play it as a stealth mission. But if you don't play it stealthily, it's pretty hard. But anyways, as you progress through this mission, through many different stealth objectives and stuff like that, Eventually, uh, when you get to the end, you have to once again get on another sniper, and you zoom in all the way, and you see Zakaev and his convoy arriving to purchase uh, some spent nuclear fuel rods, I believe. And that is where you can see in this truck where Makarov and Yuri are. So if you remember, Makarov is in the front seat while Yuri is sitting in the back seat. So. Let's kill Makarov first, because this one is actually a little more well-known. As you can see, if you kill Makarov, it actually completes an objective called Change the Future. And I believe it unlocks an achievement, which I think it's called like Time Paradox or something like that. Um, but that one is well-known because it's an achievement. And you know, a lot of people will probably have the achievement by now. But that is what happens if you kill Makarov. Uh, we only failed the mission here because Zakaev got away. But you can kill Zakaev and then kill Makarov, and then still complete the mission. Now, what about Yuri, though? So, Yuri is a little more lesser known in this scene, but he is there in the back. So, let's see what happens if we uh, if we take out Yuri instead. So, with Makarov, it actually completed an objective, and like I said, it unlocks an achievement. But let's try Yuri now. So, let's get a good aim. Um, it could be a little tricky to snipe him, but eventually you'll figure it out. Anyways, there we go. We shot Yuri, and inter interestingly enough, it actually says friendly fire will not be tolerated. And then you fail the mission, and you have to revert to the last checkpoint. So, I guess it makes sense, because Yuri is a friendly in MW3, but at the time, he was not friendly. So it is a little odd that it counts as friendly fire, but I guess they don't want you to change the future in that way, because that will really screw up the future. But, anyways, that was Modern Warfare Remastered. That's the remastered version of COD 4. What about the actual original COD 4 Modern Warfare? Well, the interesting thing is that in that same truck, Makarov and Yuri actually do not exist in the original COD 4. They were only added there in Modern Warfare Remastered. The truck there, that where he's supposed to be in, is actually empty. So, Modern Warfare Remastered is actually not a full, like, you know, one for one remaster of the original COD 4. It's actually, you know, quite a few things have actually changed and other things added, such as uh, Makarov and Yuri. So, unfortunately, in the original COD 4, you can't do the same thing. You can't kill Makarov and Yuri. They don't exist. But if you do it in the Modern Warfare Remastered, then you can. And as you saw, killing Makarov it completes like a secret objective and unlocks an achievement or trophy if you're on PlayStation. But on uh for Yuri counts as a betrayal. So that is what happens when you kill the two of them. Um like I said the Makarov one is a lot more well known cuz it's an achievement, but the Yuri one uh it's it's a little more obscure. But anyways, hopefully you guys found this to be uh interesting and if you did enjoy this, uh make sure to leave a like and leave your thoughts in the comments. If there's anything else you want me to look into, you know, be it Halo or Call of Duty or really uh, any other game just let me know and i'll you know i'll look into it and other than that make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys next time bye guys